From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Happy Tuesday, I'm Lauren St. Germain. Summertime thunderstorms could roll through the Bay Area tonight. Greg D has your full weather forecast coming up, but first here are your ABC Action News headlines. Some people are not so happy about seeing a part of their favorite beach fenced off. Yesterday, a homeowner put up a fence behind his home on Indian Rocks Beach. A new Florida law states beaches can be private for homeowners up to the high tide line, but Indian Rocks Beach's city ordinance makes all beaches in the city public. An angry neighbor tore down the fence this morning before the home owner could remove it. A Port Reggie teen is in trouble after troopers say he took his mom's car without permission, then crashed it into his neighbor's house. The 17 year old only has a learner's permit and was not allowed to drive without an adult. A man inside the damaged home told us he was in the garage doing laundry just minutes before the crash. After he told me what happened, apparently he said that he lost control of the vehicle. Uh, his accelerator got stuck or whatever the reason was. Troopers tested the brakes and they say they found no problems. They cited the teen for not wearing his seatbelt, running a stop sign, reckless driving and violating his learner's permit. Flooding is causing a brand new dog park in Lakeland to close for a week. Flood waters from recent rains now cover the Dog Leg Woods Dog Park, which opened up just about four months ago. Starting today, workers will close the large dog section to remove the standing water and fix the park's drainage system. The dog park should be open next week. And if you enjoy coffee, British scientists say drink up, refill and rejoice. A new study found people who drink two to three cups of coffee a day have a 12% lower risk of death compared to non coffee drinkers. Drinkers. However, researchers are unable to answer exactly why that is. This is not the first study to suggest a longevity boost for coffee drinkers, but this one included decaf drinkers as well. An algae bloom in southwest Florida is making its way towards the Gulf of Mexico from a Lee County River. Water quality experts say this is a big concern because of the toxins the bloom carry, and it can actually cause liver problems. If officials try to stop the bloom from spreading, it could end up releasing the toxins. Your best bet is to just just avoid affected waters if you can. And today is the last day Hillsborough County Pet Resource Center is waiving adoption fees for all their cats and dogs. The shelter is participating in a national movement to adopt 10,000 pets in 10 days. All pets coming from the shelter are spayed or neutered, microchipped and vaccinated. And now here's Greg D with a check on your forecast. And Lauren will be watching for pop-up thunderstorms with the sea breeze this afternoon. They're going to start about midday. Coverage about 30 to 40 percent notice here about uh, 3, 5 o'clock. Best chance in Tampa. Then we may get a break. And if the East Coast sea breeze reaches us again tonight, we could get a flare up somewhere around the Bay Area between 7 and 9 o'clock, much like we did last night. Frequent lightning, heavy rain, all possible with those storms. Best way to stay ahead, download the Storm Shield app. It's free in your app store right now. Lauren. And you can get now news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Drivers always avoid distractions while driving and focus on the road because safety doesn't happen by accident.